in this video I show how I made some fuel lines with AN fittings and braided fuel line which I used to connect to the fuel rail on the 4.6 DOHC and gas tank in my 67 F100. Here's a picture and a list of some of the tools I used to do it. The factory hose was 3 8 so I used dash 6 AN hose and fittings. You can just google the size chart for AN fittings to match hose size. So I used some tape to mark where I'm going to cut and also keep the hose from fraying. I also cut a few pieces of wood and put some tape on it to put in the jaws of the vise and also put some tape around the crescent wrenches to protect the fittings. They do sell specialty tools for this, soft jaws and an aluminum crescent wrench. If I was going to make a bunch more I would probably pick some up. Another good use for the tape is you can use a mark for measured cuts. I guess there's a bunch of ways to cut this. People have used scissors, blades, even PVC cutters. I used the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. Try to make nice clean cuts. After making the cut, I just used some compressed air to blow out the hose. If there was any strands hanging out, I just used either a sharp blade or a sharp pair of scissors. After that, I just removed the tape. Here's one of the Dash 6AN fittings. You just gotta separate the two pieces. Then you can actually see the back side where the hose is gonna bottom out. So then you just want to get the hose started by pushing it in and, and turning at the same time. And then eventually you'll just kind of feel it bottom out. Here you can actually see the hose sitting flush with the back side of the fitting. Then I just added a little bit of lubrication to the threads. Then I just started putting them together by hand. Just wanted to tighten them with my hand, that way I knew I wasn't cross threading anything to start with. After you reach the point where you can no longer tighten it with your hand, that's when I went ahead and put it in a vise. Then you're just gonna run it down to a bottoms out. If you have any gaps or you just prefer it to do this way you could use a set of wrenches and just tighten it up and run it down and there it is all finished ready to connect to any fitting that's needed well thanks for watching I hope this video was helpful if so hit like leave a comment or subscribe